We don't just take in any milk drinker who stumbles in. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. My mother was a companion, and her mother, and all the women in my family back to Harati Blackwood. I stayed with my father in the woods until I was old enough for my trial. We hunted everything there was to hunt. Good training. Ma didn't live long enough to see me join, but I fight to honor her and all my shield sisters through time. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Legendary Pumpkin, and I'm playing the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. We're in Whiterun hold at the Western Watchtower, ready to report to the Jarl of Whiterun that the dragon Mermelnir is dead. Okay, so we need to start heading back to Whiterun now to report uh, that the dragon is indeed actually slain now. So that's precisely what we're going to do. And also to sell um, all the stuff we got off of the dragon and off of the bodies as well. So that'll help. And also today I want to buy a horse. It's going to help a lot um, with traveling. Uh, Skyrim's a pretty big place. Did you hear that? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I went past where I was supposed to go. Here we go, the stables. Okay, so you let's uh, let's talk about getting a horse with this guy over here. Skullvar. Got the fleetest steeds in all the Skyrim. Can I buy a horse? Suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. I do. Here's my offer. 1,000 gold. You've got a deal. It's the one with the saddle. Thank you very much. How old are your horses? None of them's older than nine, and the youngest is six. Now the horse I got for sale is seven years old, but in fine health. She's got a lot of spirit, that one. We've taken to calling her Queen Aufsiger, or just Ali for short. I expect you can name her anything you like, once she's yours. Well, she is ours now. Ride strong. Thank you very much. Alright, this is our horse, Allie. <laughs> cool. Uh, I'm not going to ride her just yet. We actually need to go into Whiterun. And, uh, and sell all of the loot that we just got. Um, I know we have some dragon bones... Some white run guard armor. This war's as stupid as our feud with Clan Grey Main. And uh, we also, while I'm thinking about it, we need to keep uh, transmuting our iron ore so we don't get uh, too far behind on that. Um, we want to get that gold as fast as possible. Look, you already have been told. Huh? Turn around and go back the way you came. Good morning. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. And we'll pay good money for information. Who are you looking for? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun, so we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Uh, okay. I don't know anything, though. hide from us forever. So let's talk to Adrian. Got some pieces out here if you're looking to buy. Morin's... I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Let's see, and she has seven more iron ore. Excellent. And let's see what we can sell her. 
steel daggers can all go. Let's check in apparel. Fur boots can go, hide shields can go, studded armor, and we'll sell all of the white run guards armor that we uh, got from them uh, on the last episode. And that's it. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Yep, let's check inside at War Maidens. We've got small weapons as well as big. Maces, daggers, that sort of thing. Alright. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Do you have any iron ore for me? Yes, you do. Good doing business with you. And you too. Silver ore added. Excellent. I ain't done nothing. All right, buddy. <laughs> well met, kinsman. Let's go into Bellathor's and see if Got he has any. Just about everybody in here. What the? Give a holler if you have any questions. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Do you have any iron ore for me? Come on. There we go. Iron ore. And let's see what we can sell him. The gold necklace can go. Two silver rings. I'll keep the garnet ring for now. Potions. Those can go. Um, I'm not going to sell any ingredients just yet. We are going to start uh, stockpiling alchemy ingredients, and we will soon be getting into alchemy. Uh, the dragon bones can go. Let's see, let's see. That's it. Unless he actually has any petty soul gems. Yep, he's got two. I'll take both of those. All right, that's it. Do come back. Well met, traveler. Indeed. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. They can barely tolerate our presence on Earth. Today, they take away your faith. Now, in the last episode, we got an amulet of Talos, and that is that thing that I just touched is called a shrine of Talos. And both of those are going to allow me to uh, use the Thum there a lot faster. All right, let's talk to the Jarl. Good, you're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. And I so am. what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? The Watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. When the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tybeseptim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rangar, don't be so hard on Avenici. 
I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. <coughs> I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. Thank you, Jarl. I'm gonna walk over here to Farangar and see if he has any petty soul gems. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the on It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Do you have any petty soul gems for me? Yep, he has five. Thank you. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. Let's see, the Axe of White Run we can disenchant to learn stamina damage. And that's it. Let's get out of here. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. What does a house Carl do? As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Very good, but I need you to stay here right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, we're gonna head down to the Whiterun Stables. And we're going to take a little detour before we go to the Greybeards. The first thing is we're going to climb up on the horse and get going. Okay, so if I check my map, um, the place I want to head is called Rorikstead, and it's west of Whiterun, over here on the map. So that's where I'm going to be headed. And I'm just going to keep going uh, along this road and I'll cut back, uh, I'll cut the camera back whenever uh, we get there. Unless something interesting happens along the way. Oh, looks like we got a wolf. Yep, he's angry. Two wolves. Woo! Go, go, go. Janasa, where are you? There you are. Start beating them up. I need flames. Okay, cool. Two wolf pelts. I plan on making some more leather armor later on, so I'm going to start collecting those. Okay, it should be right around the corner here, um, the town of Rorikstead. 
yep, there it is. This is a big agriculture um, part of the uh, part of the province, and we're looking for a young man named Eric here. So let's go ahead and put Allie over here with the cows, and we'll see if we can't find him. I think that might be him farming over there. <laughs> oh, I don't want to catch your crops on fire. Do yourself a favor and don't have children. They're good for nothing at all. Whoa, My buddy. My father, Ralki, manages the inn. He used to be a soldier, but he left that life behind. Eric. You look like you've seen your share of adventure. I envy you that. In fact, maybe you can help me with something. What is it that you need? I want to be an adventurer like you. My father says I can't. He says he needs me to stay here and work the farm. And even if he did let me be an adventurer, we couldn't afford to buy armor. His name is Mralki, and he's the innkeeper here. I hope you could change his mind. I'll see what I can do, Eric. Thank you. I can't stand the thought of being trapped in this village for the rest of my days. So Eric's father runs the uh, inn here. And we're going to try to convince him that Eric needs to go on an adventure. But Eric's dad should be right here. Hmm? Something going on? Someone do something. What's this all about? Somebody help. Okay. <laughs> I don't see anything going on. Moralki? Need a meal or room. I've got both. Moralki. I only take real coin here. No handouts and no bartering. I'd like to talk to you about your son. My son? Eric? What about him? Did something happen? Is he all right? You should let your son choose the life he wants. But the world is a dangerous place. Eric has no idea what he's getting himself into. What's more, he's got no armor. I'll have to save up the money for it. Tell you what, why don't you take this money and you can buy some armor with it? You would give your own coin to help my son? I'm moved by your compassion. Your kind deed will not go unrewarded, my friend. Tell Eric I've changed my mind and will visit White Run soon to fit him for armor. Alright, I'll tell him. If you've got some business in Rorik State. Okay, let's try to find Eric. And looks like he's still over there. Let's tell him that his dad's gonna buy him some armor. So that he can be an adventurer. Did you have any luck talking to my father? Eric. Your father's changed his mind. I can't thank you enough, friend. I hope you'll come back to Rorikstead soon and pay me a visit. Why? Maybe we can swap stories about our adventures over a mug of ale at the inn. Until next time. Sounds good, Eric. Take care. The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Rock. All right, let's uh, let's travel back to White Run. We're all done here. I'm just gonna go ahead and fast travel. So in a few days, um, Eric is going to get some armor, and he's actually going to become somebody. Uh, who can come on adventures with us and so that's the plan um, eventually Eric will be coming on adventures so let's be head back into Whiterun there's some people that I wanted to talk to and the name of those people is the companions and basically um, they're equivalent to a fighter's guild. By Ismail, you did it. You killed the dragon. All I can think about is my son, my foe. 
They say that he was killed, but I know better. And this is where they live, Yorvaskar. Are those two at it again? Strike when the shoulder turns. He's giving you open. Hey, watch it. You can see they're pretty good fighters. <laughs> okay, skewer. A little blood to clear the air. If you have the stomach for it, outsider. Can I join the companions? So you think you have what it takes? Lucky for you, I'm not the one who makes that decision. Talk to Codlack. The best you can do? Who knows? Maybe he's in a generous mood. All right, let me uh, just step aside. <laughs> I think I might get punched if I stand in the middle of that. I haven't seen your face before. I'm watching you. Okay. But I still hear the call of the blood. We all do. It is our burden to bear. But we can overcome. You have my brother and I, obviously. But I don't know if the rest will go along quite so easily. Leave that to me. A stranger comes to our hall. Codlack. Greetings, outsider. If you have some business here, speak it. I would like to join the companions. Would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Hmm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Master, you're not truly considering accepting her. I am nobody's master, Vilkas. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in Yorvaskar for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Apologies. But perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Of course. How are you in battle, girl? I can handle myself. That may be so. This is Vilkas. He will test your arm. Vilkas, take her out to the yard and see what she can do. I. Not here. Out in the yard. Come on. Okay, so he's going to give us our, from what seems to be, uh, the initiation test. Now this test, I'm not going to be able to use any magic at all. It's against the rules. So... I'm going to go ahead and turn all of our magic off, and we'll just use our fists. Huh? The old man said to have a look at you. So, let's do this. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your form. Don't worry, I can take it. By Ismir, you won't leave here alive! Not bad. Next time won't be so easy. You might just make it. But for now, you're still a whelp to us, new blood. So you do what we tell you. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Yorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. Okay, we're gonna go talk to Yorland, blacksmith up in the Skyforge. And he should be right up here. Yep, there he is. Yorland! What brings you here? Ilkus sent me with his sword. I'm guessing you're the newcomer then. Does Vilkas always send newcomers on errands? Oh, don't worry too much about it. They were all whelps once. They just might not like to talk about it. And don't always just do what you're told. Nobody rules anybody in the Companions. Somebody has to be in charge, though. Well, I'm not sure how they've managed it, but they have. No leader since Yzgrimor. Kodlak is the Harbinger, and he's a sort of advisor for the whole group. But every man is his own. Every woman, her own. 
Are you a companion? Not actually a companion myself, but none of them know how to work a forge properly, and I'm honored to serve them. My name is Eorlin Greymane. I work the Skyforge, best steel in all of Skyrim, all of Tamriel. I'll need to be going. I have a favor to ask. What is it? I've been working on a shield for Aella. My wife is in mourning, and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Aella for me. I'm happy to lend a hand. Well done. Okay. So joining the Companions has a few benefits. And the main benefit is that it's going to allow us early on to learn another shout, um, which is the fire breath. And the second uh, real benefit to joining the companions is a lot of them are actually skill trainers that we can buy training from for various skills like smithing and light armor and things like that. So let's drop this shield off to Ayla. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Ayla. All these young Iskimor himself around. wouldn't have the patience to deal with all the rabble around here. I have your shield. Ah, good. I've been waiting for this. Are you new here? I like this. I told you. This is the whelp that Bilkis mentioned. Yes, you're very fond of Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite a thrashing. Don't let Vilkis so. catch you saying that. I can get in and out before you. Do you, you think you could handle Vilkis in a real fight? Let's test that out. I don't care for boasting. Ha! Ah, a woman who lets her actions speak for her. I knew there was something I liked about you. Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. Farkas. Did you call me? <clears throat> of course we did, Ice Brain. Show this new blood where the rest of the whelps sleep. New blood? Oh, hello. I'm Farkas. Come, follow me. Skior and Ayala like to tease me, but they're good people. They challenge us to be our best. Nice to have a new face around. It gets boring here sometimes. I hope we keep you. This can be a rough life. The quarters are up here. Just pick a bed and fall in it when you're tired. Tilma will keep the place clean. She always has. All right, so here you are. Looks like the others are eager to meet you. Come to me or Ayala if you're looking for work. Once you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things for you to do. Good luck. Welcome to the Companions. By the way, if you're looking for something to do, we've got trouble right here in Whiterun Hold. Nothing we can't handle. What kind of trouble should I expect? Nothing but a bunch of lonely bandits. Cowards who will take little effort. I'll take care of it. Excellent. Show them no mercy. By the way, if you're looking for something to do... Okay, so... I'm still trying to figure out why... I'm gonna go ahead and rest in this bed. Let you in in the first place. It's pretty rude. <laughs> Alright, let's go upstairs. What's Janasa doing? Why don't you have a seat? We're one of the same kind, you and I. Fine. What? What? Will do. That it? Hmm. I need you to do something. Fine. What? What? Sit in the chair. Will do. That it? Ladies and gentlemen, we've joined the Companions, a fighting force for good, with the hopes of growing stronger and learning to wield the Thum, our voice turned into a weapon. If you had a great time, give the video a like, and if you want to watch the next episode, you can subscribe to my channel, 
and as soon as it's released you'll be able to see it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.